Gonna be starting up a new offline dynasty, first one ever. Gonna be playing with, uh, I believe we're gonna go with UTEP. We're gonna start our way at UTEP, build up our uh, our prestige, see where we can go. So a couple of rules uh, with the dynasty as I'm making uh, making the coach. Um, recruiting wise, um, since UTEP is going to be a one-star school. We can only do we can only grab five two-star players, and the rest have to be one star. That's going to be like it for every single uh, school that we're at. So if I move up to a school that's a three-star school, I can get one two star, two star, and three stars as many as I want. But I can only have five four stars. So I can only have five. Um, Five players that star level is one star above the program that I'm at. And that's how we're going to do it. I'll show you all the sliders in a second of what we're going to do. Uh, but, yeah, basically, uh, that's what that's what we're going to be doing. Also, I have this uh, play custom playbook. Uh, for some reason, I can't change the name of Nebraska 1. No idea why. I can't change it. But uh, we're going to do that. Uh, also, going to be playing offense only because, one, my defense is very, very sus. And let's be honest, uh, offense is just a whole lot more fun to play and it's a whole lot more fun to watch. So, yeah, we're going to be doing that. All right, so, yeah, uh, first things first to the sliders. Everything that I'm going to be doing besides kicking and punting is going to be 35. And for the CPU, they're going to be going up to 65 for everything except for punting and kicking as well. Alright. Um, let's see. Gameplay options. Heisman, of course. 10 minute quarters. Everything else can be the same. Don't need to miss with penalties. And I think we're good. Yeah, we're going to keep the uh, starting level at default and the progression rate at normal. And yeah, uh, not going to mess around with the conferences, even though I know that some, like, especially like the independents, like I know that uh, Navy's in a conference, Notre Dame is in the ACC. Actually, the only one I'm going to change is Notre Dame because I feel like that's the, that's a big one. So we're going to put them in the ACC as the Atlantic. So, uh, not going to mess with the ball tie-ins. Uh, we are going to be doing the uh, two-team national championship. Not going to be doing the four, four-team playoffs, even though I would love to. But as of right now, I don't really have any experience in doing it. So uh, we're not going to be able to do it. But let's go ahead and grab UTEP. All right, so a lot of road games, especially late in the season, which kind of sucks. But... This is the schedule we're going to be rocking with. Alright. Uh, let's right check the, the freshmen that are starting first. Just get that out of the way. Um, yeah, quarterback is not very good. 66 overall. He is a sophomore, so there is room for improvement, but not going to be good. Our halfback, Deion Hankins, is amazing. A redshirt freshman, 81 overall already. Very good. So, yep, we're just going to go and do, like I said, we're going to redshirt every freshman that we have. Let's set up recruiting. going to skip. We're not going to create any prospects. No cheesy position players that we're going to move to punter or kicker just to get them easy. This is going to be bare bones. No creative players. And like I said, the rules, once again, we can only get five players that are two-star athletes because... What we're doing is, since we're a one-star program, we're only going to be able to get one-star players, but we are going to get five players that is the next star up. So, one-star school, we get five two-star players that we can go for, or actually that we can get. Alright, we are good to go. First game of the year, UTEP versus New Mexico. We're going to be playing as UTEP, of course. We're going to be rocking with the home unis. New Mexico will be rocking the standard away. First game of the year, first game of the dynasty. Let's see if we can get a win today. Some beautiful sunny weather here today in El Paso, Texas. Says it's going to be New Mexico versus UTEP here at the Sun Bowl. See if we can't get our first win. We go down to the coin toss, see if we can't get 
the ball. Looks like we're going to be able to get the ball first. They're going to always kick. We wanted to kick, but that's okay. We get ball first, and like I said, we are going to be playing offense only because, well, I'm really, really sus at defense, and honestly, I think uh, running offense only is a whole lot more fun for the, for the overall experience. All right, here we go. First play of the game. Let's run the triple option. And that's going nowhere. Left side. There we go. Not close enough to get a good run. Let's see if we can't get someone open. Oh, he's wide open right there. There's Garrett. Nice 32-yard reception. Huge play. See if Cowan can't get him right here. Nope, right there in the middle, though, is wide open Thompson. He's not going to get the first down, though. Uh, blockers ain't going to do much. They rushed us. That's going to be a turnover on downs. Luckily, defense is going to be able to stop him for and out. I mean, that's going to barely be in bounds. Alright, nice little 8 yard return. Alright, let's hit him with the play action. Oh, that's intercepted. That's going to be a pick 6 possibly. Can we get him? Ah, we stop him. It was tipped. That's just terrible luck right there. Can our defense get a goal line stand? Probably not. Second and goal. Nope. Four yard rush by Cole. And that's going to put us down 7 nothing. Cowing might have had a chance to break something there, but nothing doing. Gonna change Garrett to a slant. And there he is. Oh, but he just can't even hit. Not even close. Way behind him. That's a terrible throw. Fourth down. We're gonna have to punt it. Defense gets another stop. There we go. Another four and out for him. If they're not on the four yard line, then they're hurting on offense. Our defense is doing really, really good. Cowan gets a little bit of a run there. Nice 15 yard return. I'm going to audible out of this play. I don't like that side over there. See if we can't get anyone open. Check it down. And whoever number eight was just did not block, and Hankins got destroyed. You gotta block him right there, because Jesus just got clobbered. Stay in bounds, nope. Gonna go out of bounds, fourth and five, we're gonna have to punt it. Another four and out for us, they're on the eight yard line, let's see if we can't. Block it. Alright, Cowing. Got plenty of room. See if we can't get the edge. There he goes. Oh, he gets tripped up by the shoelaces. We could have gotten maybe to the 35. We're going to be down near the 40. We got to at least get a first down. We got to get in field goal range. We got to put some points on the board. We have to get a field position to not. There 
There's Hardson. Inside. Gets the first. All right. We're in field goal range now, so just don't turn the ball over. Nice 10 yard run by Hankins, second and inches. Hankins not going to get there, fourth and inches. We went for it last time. I think we just got to take the field goal. Alright, kick is good. And they're marching down the field. Defense can't get a stop. Third and 11, 26 yard touchdown for New Mexico. Nice blocks right there. Cowan's got some space. He's going to be down at the 47. Nice return, 56 yards. Uh, that's going nowhere. That's a, that's a terrible play. Went backwards and juked and went out of bounds. And we're going to get sacked. So we have great field position, but we can't do anything with it. We're going to have to punt the ball. Defense gets another four now. Our defense is really showing up today. Our offense, aka me, I'm just not. Go third and ten. Checking down the fields. It's gonna get us nothing. Luckily, we stop him right there. See if we can't get the block. Nope. Field goal is gonna be good. That's gonna put us down by fourteen again. Come on, get that. Oh, thought we might have had a chance, but deflected. Run it. Nice gain of seven, third and three. Blockers working out that time. Hankins gonna get the first down. I uh, just gotta throw it away right there. Third and nine. <clears throat> I'm gonna try to run it, see if we can't surprise him here. Oh, nice move by Hankins. He's going to get the first down. Take a shot. That's going to be picked off. He was just waiting on it right there. So we get down close to the 30 and we just throw it away right there right before halftime. And they missed the field goal, so we got 40 seconds left. 40 seconds left on the 30. We might be able to get something. We just don't need to turn the ball over, especially not here. Uh, that wasn't even supposed to go to Garrett, but somehow <laughs> he got it. That was supposed to go to, I believe, Thompson. But hey. I'll take it. There he is. There's Thompson wide open in the middle of the field. That's going to get us a first down inside the 20. We're in the red zone. Determines. Let's see what we can do. Ah, we're going to get sacked. There's the kick, and it's going to be good. So we're going to go into the half 17 to 6. Still in it, but man, our offense needs to get going because our defense is saving our butts right now. Cowan gets the edge right there. He's got a huge hole. Down to the 35. Great option with Hankins. Going to get us another six. Uh, 
Hankins gonna get the edge. That's gonna be a touchdown right there. First one of the dynasty. First one of in the game for us. Dion Hankins gets the edge. Nice blocks out in front. And that's gonna put us to within four, it looks like. And they convert on fourth down right there. That's not good. But we do get a turnover. Who was it? Knight intercepts it. That's huge. They were they were gonna kick a field goal if anything, but we got it we got the pick. And that's huge for us. Now we got a chance to take the lead. Cowan okay, gonna get us three yards there on the rush, then nice little end around. Third and three. Manageable. I think we're gonna go with the zone week, see if we can't power it in here. Break it inside. Got the first down and a little bit more. Six yard rush. Pitching it. Cooper's got a little bit of room right now. Cooper almost got the edge. That's going to be a huge gain of 17 right there. And as soon as I say that, Hankins is going to get the edge right here. Can he get there? He's going to get another touchdown. That puts us in the lead. We're going to be up by three. Going to run it with Hartson again. He's got a first down and a whole lot more. 17-yard gain. Thompson threw it off our back foot. And that's going to go nowhere. Third and in. There's Don Jr. right there in the middle of the field. That's going to get us a first down right there. Nice 15-yard gain. Nice blocks. Going to get about a gain of six right there. Nice. And with that, we're going to go into the fourth quarter up ahead, 20 to 17. See if we can't close it out on New Mexico. There's Cooper right there. Going to get us first down. 10 yard reception. Nice. Rolling out. There he is right there. Cooper can't bring it in. Pass was a little bit out in front. He had to walk, he had to run up a little bit. So it might not have even been a first down if we got tackled right away. But we'll take a field goal. Alright, 23-17, six-point game. Still a one-possession game. Can they get another stop? First and goal for them. And they get a touchdown. I'm here in the ball game. There's Cowan right there. Gain of six. Read option, we got it. He broke. Oh my god, and he took a shot. Should have probably slid instead of Instead of getting just killed like that, we got to protect our guys a little bit better. That's on me. Hankins going to get inside. Huge gain right there. Broke it inside. If he went outside, that was he had like four guys waiting on him, but he broke inside. Huge gain. 50 yards. This is huge. Is it going to get there? It does. We are now up by two. Defense gets a huge stop. They got it. Oh, they're going to punt it. Cowan going to get us to the 45. All right, huge first and 10 right here. Going to be aggressive. There he is right there. There's Cooper. Almost gets a first down. Second down and two. There we go. Hankins has got some room. He's going to get to the 36 about. Hankins going back inside. Gain of two. So we know that our guy can make a 50 yarder. 
So I think we are in field goal range though right now. We just don't need to lose any yards. That's going to help us out a little bit. We're basically at the 30, 31. Here's the kick straight down the middle. We're up by five. 29-24. Hopefully our defense can make a stop in 45 seconds. We're going to watch this. No timeouts as well. They're at their own 25. Can our defense get a stop? Got someone for a check down. That's only going to be a gain of about three. Clock's still going to be running. They didn't get the first down. They can't be doing these small plays. They've already wasted 20 seconds on the clock. It's going to be third and six. So they wasted 20 seconds and lost two downs. So our defense is looking pretty good right now. Oh, they're going to run the ball. He gets the first down, so the clock is going to stop until they can move the chain gain. But I'm surprised that they ran it. They only got a gain of about of four right there. They got to go deep, you'd think. And they spike it. So 16 seconds left. They've gotten 10 yards in three plays in 30 seconds. You got to go big here. They're going to check it down. He's out of bounds. Gain of seven. They're trying to set up the Hail Mary, it looks like. I don't think you can throw it this far. We'll see. They might go for one more play here if they can get a first down and spike it again. They might go Hail Mary here, though. Right now, they we blitz him. Oh, it's a screen. He's down. Fourth and four. Clock's going to run, and that's going to be the ball game. They, they're they not going to be able to get back to the line quick enough, and we have just won our first game in the Dynasty. First game for UTEP, 29-24 against New Mexico in a classic game. That was a very competitive game. Hardison, 16 for 29, 142 yards, two interceptions. I mean, not a good day, but, I mean, as long as we, we, we really need to work on throwing it into bad coverage, we just need to work, we just need to work a whole lot on, on our passing game. Rushing-wise, Hankins, great game, 158 yards on 32 rushes. Had those two really big plays that helped out his average right there. Two rushing touchdowns, longest 29, and two rushes for over 20 yards. Hartson had 45 on the ground. Cooper had two rushes for 21 yards. Cowan had three yards, and Fields had negative two. Receiving end, a lot of guys, not really, not really anyone uh, had a really good game since we only had a couple of completions. But Garrett had probably had the best uh, best stats out here, uh, 62 yards on three receptions. Uh, Thompson with 38, Don Jr. with 20, Cooper with 18, and Cowan with 15. Defensive stats, I believe Knight got the interception. Let's go check that real quick. That's Tyrese Knight with an interception and two tackles. Our man right here, Keenan Stewart, with 13 tackles, huge, and four tackles for loss, and two sacks. That's huge, and one pass deflection. This guy had an awesome game. Kick return, Cowing had 120 yards on four kick returns, which is great. 55 was his longest, that really helped us right there. Part returns, he had 90 yards on six of them. I was going to go with Cowing for our for my personal MVP over Hankins, but after seeing the defensive stats, I think I got to go with Keenan Stewart with 13 solo tackles and four tackles for a loss and two sacks. That is a monster game. Well, I think I'm going to end off the episode here. Thank you all very much for watching. Please do comment, like, subscribe, turn on that bell for the notifications for whenever I go live, and of course, follow me on Twitch and Twitter here, and... Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.